Hello and welcome. This is Rochelle, the DIY affiliate, and today I am bringing you some very important information. This is the first thing that you do when you are starting to create your organic traffic. You go to your browser and you type in vidIQ. That's V-I-D IQ dot com. Now I have an account with VidIQ, so I am just going to log out of my account and create a new account to show you how to do it. You put your name here. Now I'm not sure if I can actually create another account, but this is how you do it. Put a password in. Agree to the terms and sign up for free. Okay, here you're going to see help us customize vidIQ for you. What account type best describes you? A creator, a brand, MCN, or an agency? So you are a creator. Next, what is your subscriber size? Zero to 1,000. Next. What best describes your content? All these categories are the categories you will find in YouTube. They usually go under education. Complete. Authenticate with YouTube. Now this is is where you use vidIQ with YouTube and I'm not sure if I've already done that with my new channel If okay, so we sent you an email confirmation link. So I need to go to my Gmail. And confirm this confirmation link. Okay, so here is the email confirmation. Just going to click into there. Click 
click this link to confirm your account. Clicking the link. loading so now it's going to take me to vid iq that is how you sign up it's very easy successfully confirmed your email okay so now it says here authenticate with YouTube so we're going to click into there and it's going to look for my YouTube channel to authorize vidIQ to integrate with my YouTube it is right there oops 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 that was the wrong one. Oh, okay there we go okay so here we go the new DIY affiliate channel Now this is being done real time, depending on how fast your computer is, is how fast you will be able to sign up. And you can also sign up on your cell phone too. Okay, so I am going to allow this because I, you can check it out for yourself. I'm just gonna click that. This is the very first thing you do when you want to start creating your own organic traffic without having to pay for paid traffic or people getting you traffic or people selling you backlinks or any other type of search engine optimization that you can do for yourself. If you're just starting your if you're just starting your business and you want to be able to save money and put the money back into your business to help it to grow well then start with a free account at vidIQ okay so you will then see okay Subscribe to vidIQ for tips on getting more views on YouTube and watch this video. So we're going to continue. And you can watch the video on getting started. Because vidIQ gives you all kinds of videos for you to be able to look at your information. Okay. First, this is a new channel and I've had 11 YouTube views and two in the YouTube search and no suggested views yet. This will show me my views and my YouTube search views. It will also show me the, an overview and how much time has been watched on my channel, the number of YouTube likes, and the subscribers that were lost, subscribers that were gained, and the YouTube comments. Okay, so now this, these colors correspond with what this graph is showing you. And again, you see the blue goes with the YouTube views 
and the sort of light green goes with the minute. It's very easy to follow. It's all color coded and very easy to follow. It will show you your top video. And you know, you might not want to have a look at this right now because you might think, well, my channel's really not doing that great. And you know, but you need to, you need to stay on top of what's going on in your channel. So you want to see your top video, your views, your watch time. You want to see what is happening here. Okay, you need this information. All right, you can upgrade to Pro if you want, or you can just stay with the um, the free. And this is still the information that you're going to get because I just joined a free account. Okay, so that is the first thing that you need to do. Here is the second. You need to go into the three dots up in the corner and down to where it says more tools over to your extensions. Click on the extensions. On these three lines right here. Open the Chrome Web Store. Search in the Chrome Web Store for Social Blade because it is an extension. And also you, you'll be able to get a lot of information or you could just go to socialblade.com. But this is just an easier way. Okay, since I already have it added, you would then install it and set it up and then it will then appear on your browser right there. Okay. So when I, this will now bring me up to my social blade. So it says, hello, DIY affiliate. And then here you can enter a username for YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Dailymotion, or Mixer, any channel's name. This is normal. It says checking your browser before assessing socialblade.com. Okay. So this is my new channel here. And you can just check your channel out. You can check other people's channels out. You can also set up accounts, not just with YouTube, but I believe with, uh, I believe it's uh, Facebook. Yeah. Okay, so now to get to the reason why you have uh, set up an account with vidIQ and I hope that you have paused the video so that you have set your account up. Here you will see the information not only from vidIQ from Social Blade. Now 
right now you can't see hardly any information because the the channel has just started but here this is vidIQ right here you can see your YouTube likes, your YouTube dislikes, your Facebook likes, likes, your Reddit upvotes, and your Reddit comments. Now, I am doing a tutorial in which I am showing you about Reddit, but we're just going to go into Reddit to show you what an upvote is. This is Reddit, and I'm just going to go to my my profile here. My profile. These here arrows are upvotes. If somebody likes something that you do, they will click on the arrow and it will help you to be able to gain a greater online presence, especially with Reddit. Just gonna leave a comment. And in as my account, I'm comment here. Whoops. Oops. Okay, so that reminds me there is another program that you need to get as well, and that's grammar grammarly, and I will show you why. When you type something in and say you want to type a a little faster or you want to use a little bit of grammar that you um, that you didn't know that you needed like it for instance uh, a comma right you'll see this red line underneath there that means that there is a, a mistake just to go on, okay, um, are you frustrated, you want to start with fresh, a new channel, a new start, then check out my 20 minute information packed Spelt information wrong. Information packed video. Oh boy, today's not my day. Video. Wow. You see why you need Grammarly? When you're not having a good day and your spelling is off, 
then it's always good to have something that you can just check that will just check your spelling to make sure that everything is good. There we go. There we go. Information packed video on starting your channel right the first time. Okay, so I am now going to leave this comment. Now remember, Reddit also posts to Twitter. So those two are integrated as well. So now getting back to Here is where you will find your video optimization checklist. Okay, and it shows you what it what is checked is good. So the title is good, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. Description has cards, has end screens, has a custom thumbnail. Closed captions are not done. So need to get the closed captions done on this video and also replied to a recent comment and of course monetization is not enabled okay so these are my video tags and these are my channel tags now here you can see recommend this is recommended next for you to watch and if you start doing your uh, search engine optimization and you start ranking your videos all of your videos will start coming up down here if you click autoplay, you don't have to click autoplay, but if you do click autoplay, there is something that I do need to, to fix in one second. Okay. So now getting into edit video. Now there are many videos that you can watch at vidIQ and they have their own channel and they are constantly giving out information. So it is a good idea to go to vidIQ and to subscribe to vidIQ and to start following them and getting the information that you need. We are going inside YouTube Studio Beta. Now, the reason that I am doing this first before I'm even starting to show you how to create organic traffic is because you really need to get these programs set up for yourself. Okay, so you've got the vidIQ set up now. Now you can see what your tag count is, what your tag volume is. Your keywords in the title, I got five out of five, which is good. Keywords in the description, five out of five. Triple keywords, five out of eight. Okay, now it also shows me I've added the recommended tags, which is good. Now with vidIQ, there is another thing that it shows you. Vid videos to gain views from. 
how to start and grow a YouTube channel in 2019. Okay, so this person has 27,500 27, views, which is really good. And these are her tags. So her name is her tags. You can also search by your keyword. For instance, if I wanted to find vidIQ, So, I type in vidIQ, and this is what I get, is PewDiePie. And he does have a lot of views, and a lot of people put him on their videos in order to, to get their points and to get their views. Let's try another one. Social Blade. You can pretty much see what's popular here. Social bike. There we go. PewDiePie again. This guy is doing really well. You can also type in your own videos or something that you would like to see. Let's say I add PewDiePie. Okay. Just as an example. Let's add PewDiePie. So what we're go you're going to do is you're going to open up a notebook. And this is important that you do this. You can either open a notebook or you can open a Sticky Notes or a Google Docs. And But you have to make sure that you get the information. So you need the title. That's the link address. I'm just going to type it in. Okay, and then you need these keywords right here. Oops, oops, this is coming up in another language here. Google Translate. Maybe that's the universe trying to tell me something. Okay, let's just type these keywords in to start with. All right, P E W. D E P I E Pie T series sub count P E W D E P I E versus T series. Okay. So, now what you're going to do is when you have this information, those are your keywords, you're going to go into your own cards.
add card. You can also add. Now this is all just through vidIQ. So everything's gonna fit together. So just stay with me so that uh, I can be able to show you. This is stuff that I have already done for the tutorial. So I'm just adding to it. All right, so this is where I need to get the, the channel actual link. So I have to copy the link address, go back in. Okay, so all of this concerns vidIQ. So keep this in mind. Okay, and then I'm going to create the card. Now, where do I want this to go? You can decide on where you want it. So right now it's set for 2348, but we really don't want that. We want to maybe change it a little. Let's swap it with the second one. Now these are cards that I did before and I did a tutorial, so you'll, you will see it. But what I'm doing is I'm showing you the power of vidIQ. Okay, and now I want to save this information. So that I can use it on another video. Okay, so that being done quickly, go back into your video. And now this is where you add your keywords. See how it adds your keywords there. And since I now have the video there, I can add these keywords. Without having video, you cannot add a keyword that has nothing to do with your video. Now, see how the score has gone from 43 to 45? But now I'm over in my keywords, so I need to take a keyword out. Okay, so you can only have 500 as your um, your score okay so and now I have this one and I have one more Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to save these changes.
All right. And now we're just going to go back out into uh, the YouTube search engine. Here it says feature content. So there we go. I'm just closing that. Okay, so now you will notice it does have the closed captions, but it's not turned on. I'm just going to turn that on. So there are the closed captions now coming up. So here is my video optimization list. Here, here it says feature, feature content. content. So if you just click in your feature content, you will then see that. Okay. Still says closed captions are manual, so I'll have to check that out. But I've checked everything on my checklist now. Now this video is ready to be shared. And I have done a tutorial on sharing. I'm just going to go in very briefly right now just to show you a couple of things but I have done a tutorial on using the sharing buttons you could see LinkedIn I call it VK but it says BK Pinterest Tumblr Reddit blogger Twitter Facebook and if you click into your email Let's just click into email. I didn't cover that one in my actual one that I did. Okay, that's not going to work for me because that's coming up in my other email and I don't like it. Say I want to share it to blogger. Just gonna publish this post and then show you what blogger looks like okay so I'm sharing it to blogger just as an example of one of the places to share it to okay and then and this is one of the more important ones is your blogger it's uh, it's like having a WordPress and I also go into that in my next tutorial on creating the organic traffic I talk about WordPress and how to create a free WordPress 
So this is just the beginning. So I have my own address here. And I started this blog, I guess, in 2018 because I was then Interactive 218. And that is the name it is right now. But this is me right here and the information. And you could see how it will show your videos. And it looks like I did that twice, which is, I can fix it. Okay. So anyways, that being done, this video was specifically to show you the different programs that you needed to have set up. And the, the last program is this one. It's called Grammarly. I'm just going to click into it here. Grammarly for Chrome. Set this program up. You can sign up for free. I use a free account. And it helps me tremendously. And also make sure that you also have your Google Translate. And here I will show you why. Let's say you do Google Translate and you want to translate your page. Translate this page. These are programs that you need. You need to have these extensions. You need to have the vidIQ. You need to have the Grammarly. You need to have the social emoji keyboard as well in there. But the Google Translate is one that you need to have, especially if you are using other languages and you are talking with other languages. See where it says translation in progress? I'm not sure what it's being translated to. It's translated to English, so let's change that. Let's translate this to, let's say, Filipino. I did speak with somebody who was Filipino the other day and we were able to communicate. Okay, so as you can see the page, it's now changing. And let it come completely in. You see how it's changed there, it's changed there, it hasn't changed here yet, or it hasn't changed here yet. So you have to wait till it is completely in. So once it is fully translated, then this will be able to help you, and especially if you are um, trying to understand another language. So this is just an example of how you can be able to communicate with other languages. And you need to have the program Google Translate. So I am going to leave a list at the bottom of this video of the programs that you need to have even before you start setting up for your organic traffic. So I hope this has been helpful and I am, uh, I guess I'm finished. Doing the organic traffic has not been easy because there is so much that's involved. 
And where do you start from? You know, so I just decided to start from making sure that you have all of these different extensions and online tools that are available to you for you to be able to start to even think about creating your online presence. Before I leave, there is one more thing. Your, your Gmail. You have to make sure that your Gmail is in the name of your channel. And that is how you are going to brand the rest of your social media sites. So I think that's a lot of information for now. And um, wishing everybody a good evening and bye for now.